Hello Aquarius, thank you for stopping by Divine Guidance by Sage. I am Sage the Intuitive and I'm here to do a Twin Flame Soulmate reading for the month of August of 2020. We're going to dive into some overall energies and then energies about your person, about you, and um, just kind of go through what's going to happen, what any blockages and such are for the month of August. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on a notification bell. I've already blessed sh Sage and su shuffled, tongue-tied, shuffled the cards. Um, so we're ready to get started. Please remember that this is a general reading, so all of the messages may not resonate with you. And to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Any information you would like to know about me is in the description box. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So for Aquarius, what is the overall energy for Aquarius for the month of August? Month of August for Aquarius. So I have hostilities, card number 26. And I am going to read out of the book. And it reads, it's defenses up and aggressive energy. So this card shows a man raising his sword and readiness to do battle. When it comes upright it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or have already been engaged the aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical demanding or hurtful in a work or a social situation there may be backstabbing or out and out slander going on this is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent, more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time, but whether this is new or old energy, now is the time to regain control. Allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. So let's see what is going on with you and your person. For Aquarius, please, can I please have Aquarius's person's energy for August of 2020? And remember that the energies can be reversed. So if I'm talking about your person and it sounds more like you or I'm saying you and it sounds more like your person, just take it um, as it resonates because it's just energy. Okay. So we have the six of wands and the six of wands actually came in the reverse. So someone could be um, in their ego or egotistical. We have the four of wands, which also came in the reverse. So this is about, um, could be conflict. And then we have the eight of cups, which is, um, it could be, you know, it could be someone walking away um, on a traditional um, rider way is someone's walk walking away here saying evolving. Um, so it this could be about someone who is in their ego and then with this four ones and in the reverse um someone who's having conflict with others and maybe walking away hence that hostilities card which is your overall energy so maybe your person is in the energy of um potentially walking away someone is in in their um who's very egotistical um, let's see, what is your energy? What is Aquarius's energy? Of 
Aquarius's energy, please. Okay. We have the Five of Pentacles, which is about, you know, being alone, which is about um, lost worry. We have the Three of Swords, which is about heartache and suffering, grief, someone that's hurt. We have the Nine of Wands, um, which is, you know, boundaries and um, trials, tribulations. And then we have the Lover's card, but the Lover's card actually came out in the reverse. So um, typically the Lover's card is about like union. Um, it could be about choices as well. But then I also feels like, feel like this is in the reverse. It's about um, disharmony um, in the reverse. It could be about some type of imbalance or miscommunication when it comes in the reverse. So again, this, this falls right under that overall energy of hostility. So, so maybe you're very heartbroken, hope heartbroken. Um, you feel, you're feeling alone and um, isolated from your person. You're going through, absolutely going through some type of trial and, and tribulations. There is some kind of miscommunication. So all of this falls right under the energy of hostilities. Um, Aquarius that we have for the overall energy. Let's see what your person's blockages are. Um, so we have the um, two of pentacles the two of pentacles actually came out in the reverse so then this is like um unbalanced um someone's overwhelmed or or disorganized um we have the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is typically a nurturing person but this came out in the reverse so this is saying that someone could be jealous somebody could be self-centered um someone could be pretty smothering and then we have the um two of cups which is um the divine partnership so um the blockage here is that um there is absolutely some type of um imbalance here some some um some imbalance here having to do with someone who is jealous someone who's self-centered someone who could be smothering um typically a the um queen of pentacles would be you know be someone that's nurturing but this person could be envious this person could be um greedy and um so this is what's blocking this this union or this partnership because someone here is very imbalanced someone here is very greedy or um uh, very greedy or a um, envious type of person and that's what's blocking um, this what is your blockage let's see what your blockage is What is Aquarius's blockage? Okay, so we have the um, Justice card and the Justice card came out in the reverse, which is about um, deception and um, unre unreliability when it comes out in the reverse. We have the Five of Swords card. So Five of Swords card is about um, competition, but it also came out in the reverse. So to me, that could be like, you know, a releasing of some kind of like past resentment. And then we have the Devil card and the Devil card is about some type of obsession. It came out in the reverse as well. And this is about... Um, detachment and like thoughts things that are like dark dark type of thoughts so maybe what is happening here is that with this justice card and the reverse your blockage is that there is some type of deception um here and someone is in there in their thoughts um 
about whatever you know whatever this is while they have like a desire to forgive um whatever the situation that's happening with them someone is still in you know in in some type of dark energy and that is what's blocking um your situation here for moving forward let's see what is actually connecting um you and your person what is connecting Aquarius and their person? So we have the um, King of Wands here, which came out in reverse. So somebody that is um, overbearing someone who's ruthless um, impulsive we have the strength card and then we have the sun card and the sun card came out in the reverse there's a lot of reversals in this reading so the sun card came out in a reverse anyway so this is like um, a delay or um, could be some type of depression um could be something to do with inner child uh healing or uh, maybe someone is overly optimistic but this is what this um this i feel like this toxicity is what's um connecting you guys together because it's just a lot of toxicity in this whole situation it's like you know a lot of attitudes strong personalities here so i feel like it's this toxic um situation that's kind of holding you guys you know in a way it's holding you guys together there's so much oh i was going to say there's so much hostility and i totally forgot just that fast that your card was um <laughs> hostilities and that's actually what is connecting you guys um this toxic behavior what is the guidance um from spirit guidance from spirit please what is the guidance from spirit for Aquarius We have the Page of Pentacles, which is about um, ambition, about coming up with ideas. We have the Page of Cups, which is um, someone who is sensitive and a dreamer and um, intuitive, and that could be a potentially a message of love. Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands came out in the reverse, which is the lack of passion. Um, and energy so um, I'm feeling like spirit is is saying that you know you're gonna have to do some some thinking you're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to work on work on um, on this together um, because the page of Pentacles is usually somebody who's very patient. So maybe it's saying that you're going to have to be a little bit patient, um, when it comes to getting this message of love. Um, but spirit is also saying that there could be like some type of that, that the spark is not even here anymore. Um, with this ace of wands in reverse, which typically would be about passion. But I would think that when it's in reverse, it's going to be about a lack of passion um so trying to work towards this love but then there's like there's lack of um passion here let me just get another card for the guidance someone is going to have to be truthful about the situation i feel like somebody is going to have to um stand in their truth 
about um, the situation. And it may be that um, I feel like now that in order, it may be that someone is going to have to move forward or maybe walk away from this in order to get their happiness at the end of the day because somebody is, is not um, it feels like someone is not being truthful to themselves or authentic to themselves because I have the king of swords and the king of swords is someone who is of truth and authority somebody who's an intellectual power and um, and then I have the um, page of wands that is more about like you know potential to to the ace of pentacles which is about new opportunities someone is not being um direct and being honest with themselves about like this whole situation and it may be that you somebody's gonna have to kind of like op open it up, up to themselves and kind of get and say you know what i might have to walk away from this situation because there's no more passion here i have to be truthful to myself that there is nothing left here and the only way that i'm gonna get this is because like if you look at this king here their back is turned they're like looking out into like you know the city or whatever else maybe someone's gonna have to turn their back in order to get like the stability that they want at the very end and you know that could be a possibility for sure of something that may need to happen uh, what is the outcome what is the outcome of the situation So we have the death card in the reverse. So the death card in the reverse is about some type of resistance to transformation, um, resistance to it, to this um, transformation. We got the three of cups. Um, it's about working together. It could be about celebration. It could be collaboration and community. We got the temperance card, which is typically about some type of, you know, having some patience. And then we have the queen of cups the queen of cups is usually um a compassionate um person but it came out in the reverse so this could be um talking about you're gonna have to take some type of self-care so i think the outcome is is basically saying with this um death card in the reverse is that there's some some personal transformation that needs to happen here between you you and your person in order for you to move forward and you're going to have to be patient with yourself and you're going to be able to go to restore what you need but you're going to need to do work on these inner feelings that you have this um you're gonna have to take some kind of self-care um about yourself so this month might be about walking away and um doing some transforming on your own by yourself and potentially asking friends and family to help you do that because um, I'm seeing that yeah the overall issue or um, overall blockage of this entire situation is the hermit card which is about soul searching and going within and finding your um you know going with going um to get clarity a quest for your personal truth and i think that's what i was trying to say before that somebody's going to have to be truthful to themselves and you're going to the overall of everything here is that someone is going to have to go in and and speak their truth to themselves in order for any of this to change and maybe your truth is that you may need to walk away from this situation so that's what i have for you um aquarius don't forget to like share and subscribe and um, I will see you guys next time. You guys be safe and you take care.